software and its types. A computer system has many different parts, but no matter how advanced, fast or efficient the computer is, it is useless without software. So what is this software? Software is a set of instructions or programs that tells a computer how to perform a specific task. It refers to the non-tangible components of computers known as computer programs. Software plays an important role in computer system as it creates a bridge between the computer hardware and the users. Some examples of software are Microsoft Windows, Android, Internet Explorer, etc. Computer software can perform various functions such as creating graphs, listening to music, watching videos, painting, taking photographs, playing games, performing experiments and programming. Types of software Software can be classified into two main types, system software and application software. System software is a type of computer program that is designed to run a computer's hardware and application programs. System software handles the functioning of all the components of the computer. Examples of system software are MS Windows, Macintosh, Unix, Linux, etc. System software is of three types, operating system, utility programs and language processors. Operating system. When you switch on a computer, the program that starts up the computer and lets you give it commands is the operating system. An operating system is a software that acts as an interface between the computer hardware and the users. It performs all the basic tasks like file management, memory management, process management, handling input and output and controlling peripheral devices such as disk drives and printers. Examples MS Windows, Mac OS, etc. The next type of system software needed by a computer consists of utility programs. The function of a utility program is to monitor, configure, analyze and maintain a computer system. These programs help the computer system run properly because utility programs perform tasks related to the management of computer functions like password protection, memory management, virus protection, etc. If you meet a Japanese person and want to have a conversation with him, it'll be difficult because you'll be speaking in different languages and won't be able to understand each other. You will need a translator or interpreter who will translate what you say into Japanese and then also translate the reply from Japanese to English. Computers also have their own machine language and in order to communicate with them, you need this third type of system software, language processor. A computer works with electricity, so machine language is a series of ones and zeros where one means on and zero means off. We humans write program in our language like English. These programs need to be converted into machine language by language processors for the computer to understand them. A language processor is a special type of software program that converts the programs written by the users in English language into machine language. Some common language processors are Compiler A compiler is a language processor 
that converts the source code which is high level language into object code or low level machine language. This is done in one go. So if there are any errors, the entire program needs to be recompiled. Examples of compilers are C, C++ and Java compiler. Interpreter An interpreter also converts the source code into object code but not in one go. It converts the program line by line. An example is basic interpreter. The third type of language processor is called assembler. An assembler is a system software that converts assembly language instructions or low level language instructions into machine code. Computers are very useful, but what everyone enjoys doing on a computer is playing games. The games on a computer like Solitaire, Spider Solitaire, Minesweeper, etc. are all examples of application software. This is the second type of software that a computer uses. A software which is developed to help the computer user in performing a specific task is called an application software. It is also called application or just an app. Since application software is designed for use by the end user, even a non-technical person can easily understand it. Some examples of application software are MS Word, MS PowerPoint, MS Excel, Notepad, etc. Application software can be mainly classified into two types, general purpose application software and customized software. General purpose application software is the most popularly used application software. It provides many features that the majority of users will want like formatting text, creating charts or organizing tables. Such software is sometimes bundled together in a package known as a suite. For example, MS Office Suite includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Access, etc. Customized software is software that is specially developed for some specific organization or other user. It is also known as tailor-made software or custom-made software because it is made according to the need of the organization. Customized software are used in airports, railway stations, schools or colleges, offices, etc. Some application software are used for common purposes and kept under a common name. Some of these are graphic software. Visuals and pictures always make concepts clearer. That is why many users want to use images in different forms like photographs, charts, diagrams or logos. To create, edit, store or present pictorial output, graphic software is needed. It is an intermediary between an application program and the graphics hardware. Some examples of commonly used graphic software are Adobe Photoshop, Corel Draw, GIMP and Picasa. Multimedia software Multimedia is the term used to describe two or more types of media combined into a single software. To make any content more fun and interesting, multimedia software can be used to create stories, insert animations, use different types of sounds, etc. Some examples of multimedia software are VLC Media Player, Windows Media Player and Flash Macromedia. Presentation Software Presentation software are programs that enable the users to display information through interactive presentations in the form of slides. The software includes functions for creating various types of charts and graphs 
inserting text in various forms, inserting animations, audios and videos, etc. Commonly used presentation software are MS PowerPoint and OpenOffice Impress.